our pledge, and solemnly swear to uphold the dignity of my office, to discharge my duty with honesty and righteousness, to work single-mindedly in upholding the pride and prestige of my school, and of my school. In, discipline and in discipline and obedience to abide by all rules to be just without fear or favor to bring honor to my school with truth, integrity and compassion to bear the torch of leadership with courage and valor, to raise the banner of OPJMS, to live in this height, to help me God. Dear God, into your hands we place our worries, cares and troubles. Into your wisdom, we place our path, direction, and goals. Into your love, we place our life. So let us be showered by Lord's blessing.
This leadership potential is what we would like to encourage and nurture in you as you discharge your duties with truth, with conviction, and as you perform your role with full faith. Indeed, true leadership is one that encourages others too to become leaders in the future, not grab it all by yourself. But true leadership encourages and enhances fellow leadership. We all, even those who are not in the room here, they also have leadership in them. You've just got to go there deep enough and dig in that potential and bring it to the surface. And who better than you badge holders, than you office bearers? What surely identifies a true leader is the ability to believe in yourself, to know that you tread the path of righteousness, and the self-assurance that your actions are backed by truth and justice at all times. We are sure that you will live up to this trust that we have in each one of you, and you shall wear the badge of your office with pride and with honor. As you become, remember and hear this very carefully, boys and girls, once you have been awarded the badge of honor from the school, each one of you becomes a brand ambassador of OPGMS, where your words and actions reflect on not just you, but your school too. We, we truly believe in each one of you. That is why you are here. That is why you have been selected for these posts. That is why you have been invested with responsibility this morning. But, uh, but, but we need you to be fair in all that you do. Lead by example. Practice what you preach. Winning the trust and support of your friends, not an easy task. Senior boys and girls will understand what I'm saying. To win the support and the concurrence and the uh, team spirit with your peers, with your classmates, with your schoolmates, your friends, comes with hard work to prove to all around you that you are worthy of being a true leader. Live up to this trust and faith, my young friends, as you enter the threshold of democracy and become a voice of the student community. From now onwards, if you've noticed, as I handed over the flag, I, as head of school, stepped back because I've handed over the voice of the student community to each one of you. You become a collective voice of the student community at OPGMS. And you have to promise that you will be not just a voice of the student community, but you will work tirelessly for the welfare and happiness of every student at OPGMS while you ensure Trust me, boys and girls, studies can be done in any other school. But in my opinion, and I tell you this with full conviction, what sets and what will set OPGMS apart is that we are a happy school. We come here in happiness. We spend 12 to 14 years, some of you, in this school. I think one of the student bearers had spent 30 years in this school. Marvelous that needs to be applauded. But each of those years, each of those months, each of those weeks, each of those days, each of those moments must be happy. So what will set OPGMS apart is that we will be a happy school. And to look after the happiness portions of our student community, it is going to be your responsibility. You have to tell me and find ways of making students happy. But why we work within the three pillars of the school? Discipline, obedience, and excellence. In all that you do, excellence should be a benchmark that should be very clearly written in your life. Because at the top, there's only place for one. And each of you has got to aspire to that place, to that position, to the top. You must recognize that in every race of life, victory has to be yours. And you have to ensure that these three pillars are also upheld by average in the life with OPGMS. Use your power judiciously and with prudence, with wisdom. For with power 
comes responsibility and it is not just Spider-Man who said it, I am saying it too. With great power comes great, great responsibility. And see that while you hold office, this image is not tarnished or spoiled by any accusation or allegation of wrongdoing. And the real asset test, boys and girls, of being a true leader would be when you continue on this path of right thought, word and action, even after this year of being a student council member is over. That is after March 31st, 2022. But the leader in you will stay. It is then that we, your teachers, would feel that you have justified our belief in you and lived up to our hopes and wishes to see you as front runners, the bright stars of tomorrow. You youngsters who will be at the forefront in all spheres of the world as you set out to achieve your dreams. I pray, and along with me, every teacher here, every colleague, esteemed colleague of mine and co-worker, they join me in this prayer that each one of you finds success, fulfillment of your aspirations, and become the torch bearers of our tomorrows. The future is indeed yours, my friends, and you deserve every bit of happiness and success in your lives as you become the modern citizens of our country, bearing patriotism in your hearts and the will to be the pride of our great nation. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.